to explain it to them. Good afternoon, my name is David Marks. I'm the CEO of Operation Barbecue Relief and uh, I'm here to tell you about Operation Barbecue Relief. We're here at the American Royal today and we're setting up for an amazing party that we're going to be throwing on Friday night, Pigapalooza. It's our third annual Pigapalooza and we're really excited to be here. We're fundraising for Operation Barbecue Relief and we got a whole lot going on here this weekend. Uh, amongst all these amazing cookers, we have some world-class whole hog cookers uh, here with us, uh, and they're cooking for the coveted Operation Barbecue Relief trophy uh, that, that has been shared for the last three years. Um, we're raising a lot of money for Operation Barbecue Relief. Uh, this party is a big fundraiser for us, and, and we're happy to have it here in the home of uh, Operation Barbecue Relief in Kansas City. Uh, Operation Barbecue Relief started about four years ago uh, when a couple cookers, uh, including Stan Hayes, and Will Cleaver went out to Joplin, Missouri during a tornado. We served over 140,000 meals in 10 days, uh, not knowing what we were doing and not planning to be what we have become. Uh, over the last four years, we've been to 25 different disasters. We served almost 600,000 meals. And with th at this point in time, we have almost 1,200 volunteers across the country. Uh, right now, as we're sitting up for this party, and right now as we're planning for this amazing event, uh, there's a hurricane coming down the East Coast. Hurricane Jacqueline is uh, right upon us. And while we're here planning this uh, awesome event and this great time, uh, we're also planning for a uh, disaster on the East Coast. Uh, myself, uh, uh, and Dana Reed both live on the East Coast and we have a lot of friends and family out there and we're getting ready to take care of them. We've got our state leads currently organizing volunteers and getting ourselves prepared uh, for this uh, potential disaster. We definitely hope that it's not going to happen. It's going to move out to the east uh, and into the ocean. But we're, as Operation Barbecue Relief always is, we're ready to help serve hot meals, uh, comfort food, we're here to take care of people in a disaster, and we're here to make uh, comforting. Uh, for, uh, we're here to comfort them, and we're here to uh, give them hugs and smiles, and and give them hope in a, in a horrible event. So uh, you know, we always have needs in a disaster for uh, food and donations and kind, as well as cash. But Operation Barbecue Relief needs money all the time. Uh, we do have uh, some very meager uh, needs to keep fulfilled, but we need to have those needs fulfilled so that we can be there for the country uh, in the needs of. Of the, of the communities that we serve, and that's all over the United States of America. Uh, if you want to volunteer to be a part of Operation Barbecue Relief, uh, go to www.operationbarbecuerelief.org, operationbbqrelief.org. We are here to have volunteers. We are here to take donations in kind, uh, cash on the website, whatever you can do. We also have some great swag, uh, shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. Anything you want to do, there's all kinds of information about us. We're here to serve this country, and uh, we definitely need your help. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Dana Reed. I'm with Operation Barbecue Relief. We're out here at beautiful Kansas City, Arrowhead Stadium for the American Royal. This weekend we are doing our annual fundraiser that will raise much needed monies for upcoming disasters and to feed those in need. Uh, we are 100% volunteer and that uh, most of us, if all of us, we do have other jobs. Myself, I'm a nurse practitioner in New York City. I do this as chief volunteer officers, line up all the volunteers, such as getting them ready for the impending hurricane that might hit the East Coast. We currently have roughly about 2,500 to 3,000 volunteers nationally, always looking for more volunteers, always looking for more resources to help out. So thank you for everything you guys can do for us. Visit our website if you'd like to learn more and to volunteer www.operationbarbecuerelief.org that's operationbbqrelief.org and thank you. Hi, my name is Brian Pollock. I'm the Illinois State Lead for Operation Barbecue Relief. 
I'm down here at the American Royal with Operation Barbecue Relief for our fundraiser, Pigapalooza 2015. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we do on a deployment when we go out there. So OBR deploys out after natural disasters, whether it be a tornado, a hurricane, anything of that nature, where there's a need to feed the victims, the first responders, those emergency personnel, everybody who's been impacted by that natural disaster. It isn't about the size so much as it is about what the need is, who's been impacted, and, and who's going without food. You know, we're able to mobilize our units. Competition cooks have a lot of trailers, cookers, things like that that are ready to go at any given moment. So we're able to put the word out to our volunteer base, which is continuously growing across the country. We're over 1,200 registered volunteers. And we're able to get those folks on site generally very quickly, sometimes within 24 hours of that natural disaster. We coordinate with the local emergency management folks, uh, local shelters, churches, depending on what the area is and who our contacts are. We get our cookers on site and our initial crew on the ground to do site assessment, determine what the actual needs are with our contacts, and then we bring out our cookers and our trailers. We get set up, get a command operation going, and then we start bringing in our volunteers so that we can ramp up our cooking. You know, we can generally be cooking sometimes within 18 hours. What happened in Moore, Oklahoma, it was the next day by 10 a.m. We were on the ground, already had food fired up. As far as what we do while we're out there, you know, we, we're, really, we're really the food producers. We get out there with our big cookers. We do a lot of pulled pork for folks. You know, wh whatever we can get, sometimes we'll get donations. We may cook up pork loins. It could be ribs. It could be chicken. Whatever the food is, you know, of course, we're heavily dependent on donations to come into us. Um, of course, we also fundraise so that when donations aren't necessarily flowing immediately, we can start off the cook right away by getting you know, money out of pocket to pick up material and get that food going for those people. We've cooked deployments as small as, you know, three or 5,000 meals, and we've cooked deployments upwards of 120 or 140,000 meals. You know, we generally get a crew out there on site, get somebody in charge of our kitchen management. They start breaking all the food out, get things going, start getting the food you know, out into the field, really. We actually serve multiple ways. You know, our niche is mass feeding, so we'll have cookers that can take four or 500 pounds, up to 1,000 pounds of food at a time. We put those out in pans of food along with buns, side dishes, including beans, corn. You know, our goal is to put out a balanced meal, a full meal, and, and a meal that's really hot. It's, you know, everybody, you know, can use food in a disaster. Bologna sandwiches are great. Barbecue is better. Barbecue is community. It's comfort food. And, it, and it's a hot meal. We've run into people who haven't eaten in two or three days. And, you know, those folks are happy to have anything. But when they hear it's barbecue, you know, they get that little bit of extra sparkle in their eyes. You know, and we know that, you know, we've contributed something back to them when they've lost everything. You know, we work with those local shelters to distribute food. Sometimes they'll actually run the food lines for us. That's most often the case. We have occasionally run food lines. We also deliver food out into the field. The local emergency management folks are great about helping us get into ground zero while those folks are trying to clean up their homes before the bulldozers come in and start clearing all of the debris. So sometimes they'll go all day without having eaten a meal because they only have a couple of days before that cleanup starts. So the fact that they'll let us in to deliver those sandwiches to those individuals along with you know the side dishes and water, things like that, you know, it means so much to those folks. And that's really why we do what we do, because we know what they need and we know how, you know, we know what it's like to be without, so we like to give back. Trying to shoot. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Right up there with those chairs are going to hit. Everything did a fan block and stop. Right up there with those chairs. You did a Ricky Bobby. That's a Ricky Bobby. Gravity fell in. Ricky yeah. Bobby. <laughs>
Thank you.